Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. This is another Let's Build a Mission in DCS World. So, um, in the previous one we started this new uh, search and rescue operation which I have now changed to called Rapid Fury. I've given them both operation names. Um, actually a lot has changed since the last time we did a, uh, we did a video on Mission Editor. Um, and I apologize for dropping these for those of you who are interested in them. It was just... Um, trying to get uh, keep the F-18 moving and, and keep life moving at the same time and everything just sort of piled up there for a second. But, um, so we changed it to Operation Rapid Fury. We've given us a couple of different options now. So we have multiple aircraft that can now um, activate it. And so what I've done is actually created sort of a document here. So we've got Operation Rapid Fury here. I've listed all the waypoints for uh, my uh, pilots. That way it doesn't matter really what they're flying, they can get to it. Indicate the aircraft that can be activated, or that can activate the missions. We've got the helicopter, the 18, the uh, Harrier, the Viper, and the Hog. And state that only one aircraft is required to complete the mission. AI will fill in for the missing roles. Supporting AI roles can be disabled by, replacing, uh, by the replacing player via the F10 menu. Optional aircraft listed above. And then, of course, here I've got the uh, the briefing on, on what's going down. And for those of you who followed it last time, long story short, CH-47 was uh, presumed shot down near the town of Oni, um, or Oni, however you pronounce it. But um, then we've listed our package details here. And then, you know, I've given the call sign shock top to any CAS uh, support aircraft. Um, then we've got our tasking. So Pig Pen is our helicopters. They'll home in on 3-1 megahertz FM. They'll clear the LZ and near the down chopper. They'll use their radios to get the rescue team aboard. Return to Fart Bravo and disembark the injured at the transport north of Pad 2, which is call sign Moscow. And uh, close air support. Provide close air support for the rescue helicopters. Orbit until the rescue operation is complete and helos are clear of the area. We should probably type of the area. Well, clear the area. I guess it doesn't matter. Um, and then clear to engage any hostile units approaching the LZ. Hostilities are uh, an unknown complement. Armor and mobile AAA batteries are in the area and possible air-to-air -air threats. Okay, so quite a bit that's going on here. Now, let me show you guys how I set it up because that's the important part. So, we've got our destruction zones and all these are is uh, scenery effects, right? So these are just going to put smoke and fire in the area, craters, you know, in certain spots. Um, and then uh, we have our rescue guy just like we did before and if you guys want the uh, information on the initial setup Go ahead and just check out the previous video I'll make sure to put that link above and possibly possibly remember to put in a card But I doubt it because I am terrible about remembering that and I don't know why and Then I've created a second zone SR uh, uh, Search and rescue 1.2 which I actually need to change the name. So let's call it um, Rapid Fury oops um, and one dot two. Let's do that. Here we go. Keep everything organized. And it really is critical, guys. Um, as I was um, got a little slacking while I was doing the uh, these videos, so it really is critical to keep your missions um, really well organized. That we can easily find them, especially when you start getting a ton of units around the area. You know, I mean, we've got two different operations so far. A bunch of practice stuff. You know, the carriers. I mean, it just it gets crazy really, really fast. So let me show you how we've set this one up. <clears throat> it's all changed a little bit. So the idea behind it is that any of the CAS possible aircraft, right? So when I say CAS possible, I'm, you know, referring to your A-10, obviously, the Harrier, obviously, the Viper, um, the Hornet. Um, and I think I left, I think that's it. And then obviously the Huey can start it. Um, and the reason why I didn't put in the Tomcat was because uh, I know it's quote unquote capable, but I wouldn't really consider it a CAS aircraft. It's a little too hot, too fast. Um, doesn't really have the precision in, in in my mind that you know some of the other aircraft do. I just feel like it was a little unrealistic to have that one be a CAS supporting aircraft. Um, but anyway, so here's how this all works. So first we have a radio item created for all the groups that I've deemed possible to activate the uh, mission right then once flag 120 is true we have our explosions in the zones that I showed you the yellow zones we can zoom down a bit so we have the yellow zones then there's the smoke effect okay so I'll show you guys what those look like I don't know what the unknown is all about but uh, the smoke effect will come on and we can set the density you know like we did before um, the group uh, rapid fury waypoint one so this is our 
soldiers that I showed you guys last time that we're going to use to um, basically guide the, the helicopters in using the FM homing. Okay, so that will activate uh, radio item remover, removing the rapid fury uh, radio items that way. Um, and actually, you know what? I think I want to title that. Let me come back up here for a second because while I'm looking at that, uh, I guess it would be a little too late to do that, huh? Yeah, no, we'll leave it. All right. So we remove the radio item because now it's been triggered. We don't need it anymore. Um, and then radio item, we're adding a radio item for group. The A10C, and this is just a test, so this is actually going to be expanded here. Um, but uh, we've added the radio item just for the A10s, and then we added a radio item for the helicopter. And you can see Rapid Fury, no helo, so we don't want any AI helo. And then if it's the A10, we don't want any CAS, all right, because these pilots are already taking that role, so we don't want the AI to do it as well. And so this gives you the option right off the bat of um, basically whichever side you pick. And what's cool about this and the way we set this up, and so, you know, once you get into it, it'll tell you, please deactivate the AI CAS aircraft via the F-10 menu if, our, if you are participating in the Rapid Fury operation. And then to the Vipers, it says the same thing. And then to the Helica, or uh, to the Hornets. And actually, we're missing our message to the Helos. Ooh, shame, shame, shame. Okay, well, let's go ahead and, and do one real quick. So then all we need is a, you know, we can just clone this for a second. We're going to do message to group. We're going to come up here and go to find fart bravo UH1. And we're just going to sit here and deactivate the AI search and rescue via the F10 menu. I thought we had already done that, but maybe not. Let me double check this here for a second. No, that's right. Okay. Um, yeah, all right. So we continue on down here. Let's get back here. So basically we have a radio message to each participating member depending on what their role is telling to deact telling them to deactivate the um, uh, corresponding AI role, right? So CAS telling them to de to deactivate the CAS, the helos telling them to deactivate the helos. And then finally at the end we have a message that will go to the entire blue coalition saying Operation Rapid Fury has been activated. You know, sort of giving them the heads up, you know, maybe like, "Whoa, hey, I kind of want to be I want to join that," right? So then, you know, we come on down and here's where we get the options for each one. Okay, so um, Rapid Fury, you know, CAS. So this is, will all go into their groups and this is where they're going to go into deactivate. So we have flag 129. And so if they come down here to the next one, okay, CAS player 2, excuse me. So flag is true, 129, radio item remove. Again, we don't need the radio item anymore. Group, act, group deactivate, this is the A10 CAS. Now, if the group isn't already active, because the way this works is the A10 AI that I have right here won't activate until the helo enters the zone. Okay, and actually enters, I'm sorry, because of timing and airspeed, until it enters this zone, the 1.2, which is right about here. Okay, so once the helicopter crosses that zone, then the A10 would activate. But by turning flag 129 on it won't okay and we have you know rapid fury ai cast has been deactivated and again to the whole co coalition that way they know and the same for the corresponding for the helicopters only this is going to be flag 128 okay and then how it works when we go so these are all of our waypoints you guys saw that in the last video if you have any questions about that just watch the last video and then let me know if you have questions and then so here's the rules to activate the ai helicopter Okay, so flag 120 is true because that starts the mission. Okay, and then flag is false 128 because remember if, <clears throat> excuse me, if 128 is turned on, okay, that means a player is going to fly the role of the helicopter. Okay, and then part of um, coalition in this zone is the, um, is an airplane. Right, so if an airplane crosses into this zone while the mission is active, the helicopter, uh, the AI helicopter that is right here, will activate. Okay, 
You know, it's got about an eight, eight and a half minute flight time, so it gives you time to do some ground pounding. Um, <clears throat> that's just flight time just to the LZ, so, you know, there's obviously a little bit more in that. And the same role for the cast. So, time since flag, again, 120, 10 seconds. Um, I actually don't need the time since flag anymore, but it doesn't hurt it to have it on. Um, flag is false, 129, okay, because 129 was the flag that stated that a human was going to take the helicopter role. Okay, um, or excuse me, that a human was going to take the cast role. So in this case, if a helicopter enters um, the same zone, yep, Rapid Fury 1.2, okay, that small zone, um, the group won't activate, okay? Um, or the group will activate, sorry, the, the cast will activate. Okay, so I hope you guys are following me. I know I'm a little tired here. You know, it just seems to be a theme lately. Um, <clears throat> And then what we have here is the option to do an air-to-air -air start. Okay, so part of coalition in zone is an airplane, and then any fighter-capable aircraft. So basically, you know, your Vipers. Um, and let me see, I think I actually may just have the Hornets. Oh, no, there's the Vipers. Okay. And the Tomcat. So if the Tomcat is in the area, it can participate and do some air-to-air. Um, so they will get a radio menu and it says hostile aircraft can be spawned by blue four fighters near the search and rescue, uh, one zone. And actually what we can change this to is near the rapid fury operation zone. Okay. And actually we'll probably bump this up to about 15 seconds. There we go. And we can take clear view off. We really don't need that. All right. So then now, um, if flag 122 is true, we can do group activate and you know what we need to change is all these we're actually just going to call this rapid fury a to a and we need to change these all real quick so i'll do that real fast and we'll pick back up okay so now that we've got all those changed so any of the fighter air to air capable aircraft um now, I did leave out the A-10, because I'm sorry, I don't see the A-10 faring well against three MiG-29s. Um, but anyway, um, <clears throat> one or two, possibly, yeah, I'll give it, but uh, at three, and yeah, that's a bad spot for the hog. Um, anyway, so any of the air-to-air -air capable aircraft can spawn this, and then they fire that radio button off, and the AI aircraft will then spawn and come into the area, and will remove that button. And then all that needs to happen is our, to complete the mission, we need to get the Rapid or uh, rapid Fury Rescue Me, so these are the troops that we're actually picking up, we need to come into this zone, okay? And part of Coalition out of zone is going to be airplanes, because we want to make sure that um, the airplanes are out of that zone. And actually, I don't know if that one's going to work, really. I think we may just have to ditch that because it just dawned on me that it's only part of coalition. Do we have an all of coalition? Ah! Now, does that still work? No! Well, maybe that will still work. So, I'm not sure because this is still a relatively new uh, part of the trigger zone or trigger options. So, um, I wonder if part of coalition means all airplanes. Because that would be part of the Blue Coalition. I guess we'll find out, right? So anyway, the idea behind it is that once all airplanes are out of that zone as well, and the reason why I said all airplanes is because, you know, if, if you have a fighter, if you're engaging a fighter at the moment while the helicopter's landing, you, you don't want your, fi your, your fight to get cut short because the mission ended. You know, that, that's A, an immer immersion breaker, and B, that just sucks, especially if you're about to take them out. But anyway, so the troops will come into this zone. They'll deactivate. We'll turn all of our mission flags off here that are currently on. And then we'll deactivate the rescue group. We'll deactivate the hostile ground forces in the uh, area up there, sort of clear the map up a bit. And then we'll um, deactivate the AI as long as there aren't any uh, blue fighters in the area, which again, I'm hoping, so that would assume that they've been shot down or, or our boys uh, turned tail and ran. Um, and then what will happen is 
the transport to the hospital we act will activate so he'll this little jeep will take our guys down over here and simulating that they're getting going into a hospital so what will happen is basically i put them over here so that way they'll sort of drive out of sight right um and actually i need to move this over just a little bit there we go because that way when the jeep goes out of sight it'll deactivate simulating that our injured guys were taken to the hospital and then we come back and land and move on so anyway, I hope that made sense, guys. I know that was pretty fast, but if you guys have any questions about how I set all that up, um, and the way this works is that if I start the mission in the Huey, okay, that's perfectly fine, okay, I'm, I'm getting my helicopter started up, you know, one of my guys joins and says, hey, you know, can I, can I join the mission with you? Yeah, sure, what role you want to play kind of thing, right? And if they decide they want to do one of the cast roles, because I activated the mission, the radio item to deactivate the AI cast um, is now in their cockpit, you know, if any of the any of the cast aircraft. So they can just go into the F-10 map, kill it, and then we can then together coordinate the, the attack. That way we enter the zones at the proper time and we make sure that um, everybody's on station when they need to be. So um, anyway, I thought you guys would just, that might be something kind of cool for you guys to see. I thought you might enjoy that. Um, it was sort of tricky to plan it all out um, to where it would work and, you know, where I wouldn't have any problems with it working no matter which uh, configuration we were in, right? So, yeah. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. And uh, thank you guys so much for all the support the channel's getting lately. Like, this last week, that it's just every day is anywhere from 8 to 10 more subscribers. And that may not seem, you know, huge in the, you know, when you have 100,000 or 150,000 or whatever. But to me, it's huge. I appreciate every time that number increases. Uh, it really means a lot. The feedback that you guys are giving me is just so cool. You know, I, I think out of all my videos and the two years that I've been at it, I think I've seen two negative comments. And I'm sure as, a, as the view count increases, that will probably increase as well. But um, anyway, thank you all. And uh, I'll keep pumping them out. You guys keep watching. All right. So uh, take care, you guys. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.